Well, I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup for you guys and I'm gonna show you my routine. Okay, so whenever I was in the shower, I washed my face with the CeraVe green, not the light green, but the normal green, like hyaluronic facial wash. I don't use the one that foams up because I used to use it, but it dries out my skin. So the first thing I use after this shower is this product from The Ordinary, the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% Serum. I just have about this much. I'll drop it on my hand because I saw dropping it right on your face is like contaminating it and like gets bacteria on the little syringe and then puts it back in the bottle. So I've been dropping it in my hand instead. So I just press it in and get it down your neck a little bit as well because your neck is one of the first things that ages your neck and your hands. So try to take care of all parts of your skin. Then the second thing I use is this cream. It's hydrocortisone and I just put a little bit on my eyelids because I get eczema patches there and this just helps prevent the redness and the dry patches and everything. So I'll tap it in, make sure it's all blended. The second serum I use is also from The Ordinary. It is this one, the Hyaluronic Acid, The Ordinary. Up a little bit and then drop like there. Then press into your skin. I kind of use a little bit less of this one, just not really for any particular reason, but I feel like this one like a little bit goes a long way because it seems to be very like sticky almost. So then I want that to dry into my skin. And then I use this moisturizer, just the normal ordinary moisturizing natural moisturizing factors plus HA. So then I'll just get a little bit. So about that much and then I put it all over my face and I'll blend it in for some reason I don't know if this happens to other people but lately my skincare like after I've rubbed it in like and it's dry throughout the day if I like rub on my skin like the product like pills up and like rolls like it like builds up and I'm like, what is going on? So let me know if anyone who uses similar products has the same problem, because I don't know if I need to do things in a different order or what is going on. And then I will use the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. I'm running pretty low on this, so we'll see if I have any left. Okay, so I got that. And I will just dab it up under my eyes and then I'll blend it in. So next I'll take my Rose Quartz Facial Roller. I've been wanting to get into the Gua Sha's, Gua Sha, however you pronounce it. I've been wanting to use one of those because they seem to work like fairly well, allegedly. I don't know. It could be like an internet hoax thing. But I think I've seen things that if you use it consistently, then it actually helps with puffiness. I don't really know, but it seems cool. And then I'll just brush out my eyebrows with like a random spoolie. This one is from e.l.f. So that is my skincare routine, and I will be right back with you to do my hair. All right, now we're in my bathroom. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna blow dry my hair with this hair dryer. I'm gonna go between using this one to try and kind of curl the ends and then just this normal hairbrush. This one, it's the Kristen S hairbrush. It's from Target. I don't know how much it is, but it's literally better than a wet brush. It doesn't pull my hair at all and I enjoy that, obviously. <laughs> And then if I feel like I need to, I'm gonna use this one also, once it's mostly dry, to try to give it a little bit more, like kind of blown out effect. And then I'm gonna use these, they're the dry bar high top rollers. 
to give my hair some volume. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse and show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I just blow dried my hair. Today I just used the two brushes and then the blow dryer. I feel like I don't really need to use the hot brush. But so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair up in a roller so I can do my makeup. So I'm gonna go grab some pins and then we'll do that. So for the rollers, the first thing I do is I take a small part of hair right in the middle and then I pull it up and roll her down like that so she's nice and secure just like this then I'm going to take one of these clips it's one of the Kristen S clips it just came in a pack with my hairbrush so I do a big one there, then I'm going to do my emotional support water bottle. All right, so now let's start doing the makeup. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to use this mascara, the Sky High by Maybelline, and I use it in the waterproof. I think it's like blackest black, something like that. The darkest one and waterproof. So here is my mascara. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye and then I'll be right back. Next is my eyebrows and I use this little palette. I normally tint my eyebrows so they're a little bit darker but I work at a pool so just being in the water and the sun all day, it lightened them and they just fade a lot faster during the summer. So. I'm kind of just like, I'll tint them once in a while, but they just fade so fast, it's hard to keep up with. But so I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and then I will show you guys the next step. So I just realized I recorded that last segment as a time lapse. So I used this in my brows, this to glue down my brows, and then I used this. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect under my eyes and on my little spot. So next to set my under eyes, I've been using 
the Hula White bronzer just because like I'm tanner and I haven't really been wanting the like super white under the eye look just kind of like a covering up the eye bags in a way that it looks like it's just like your skin color that's the that's the vibe that I've been going for then we'll just go around the pimple well I guess it's kind of just a scab now so just like that I just removed my mirror under the light. So there's that and then here. But this is the Real Techniques Medium Sculpting Brush. And I use this for most of my like pressed powders and things like that. So next I'm going to do my bronzer. It says it's a blush brush and I do not know which where it's from but I'm assuming any type of blush brush will work, but I use this for my bronzer and I use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. They changed their packaging, which was interesting. Whenever I went to the store, I was like, is it new? Like, is it different? Will it work the same? It seems to work the same. It has a little bit more of a shine, like a shimmer to the skin than the previous one. I don't mind it, but I did like the matte of the first one so whenever i do this i put it right on top of where my cheekbone would be so right here is where you kind of see the shadow but i try to make them look even more like sculpted and higher and i try to keep think of like a triangle going like that so like you i like the least amount of bronzer here and the most like up here because if it's just like a thick rectangle personally I'm I don't love the look of that for myself maybe somebody else does but I feel like just imagining like a triangle right there works best for me and my face shape and everything sorry for this triangle of light and then I just put the bronzer all over my forehead and then I'll connect it to the sides where I had my cheek bronzer and always just kind of like blending everything through and then I'll do a little bit here and go in there so it's like all meets right over here a little bit here blend it in and a little bit on my neck just because I've realized that right here it doesn't really tan I mean I'm sure it does if you lay down but like I said, I work at a pool, so I'm sitting up, lifeguarding, so my neck is always tanner than my face or my shoulders. And I kind of also just kind of blend my bronzer that's left over everywhere, just so my face kind of has a sun-kissed look. I'm gonna grab this smaller brush. It looks like this does not have any type of labeling on it. I'm sure it's like an eyeshadow brush or something. So I took a little bit of the bronzer and I make another triangle going up here and then down. So by doing this, let's see if you can tell, but it just kind of like helps make your eye more like snatch right there a little like foxy I don't know the exact term but I like how it looks like it, it gives it a shadow right there so you see like when my brush pulls my skin down that's what I'm trying to have it do so 
going, oh, I think this is the second to last step for my skin. And that is blush. So I'm using this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And then this MAC palette. It's a Jeremy Scott collaboration and it looks like this on the inside. I got it at TJ Maxx. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to get it anywhere. But so I just go into the blush. And I'll put it right here, basically right where we were just putting our bronzer. I put it like right on top, right here. But I don't want it to go down here because then I feel like it drags my face down. And I am trying to make everything look more snatched up and nice. And then I'm just like, just run it on my nose just a like a little, little bit. And blush seems to fade the quickest out of any makeup product. So if like it looks like you've got a lot, like don't really freak out because it'll fade throughout the day. My last part for my skin, I'm going to use this. It is the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Toast. I broke it, so I had to try to like smush it back together. Oh, but you can see how pretty it is as it falls out of the pan. So I take a little bit on my brush and I put it down the bridge of my nose and just like a little line like that and then right across my tip of my nose so it's just like whoop like an exclamation point I've been debating I kind of took highlighter out of my like skin routine for my cheeks but since it's the summer like I kind of want to get back into it again for like the extra glowiness so I'm going to just tap my finger in it and then just apply just like a little bit right here like you can see that little sheen so just lightly on top of where we applied the blush right there because I don't I'm not a huge fan of like the like chunky glitter type of highlighters that's just not my style but i've been liking just like the light glow like stuff like that if i have excess i can put on my cupid's bow back of my nose so now one of the last steps in my routine i'm going to apply some falsies i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab them so these are the lashes that i'm gonna be using but they're the My Lashes But Better No Filter Lashes by Kiss. So for these, I reuse my lashes because I feel like it's a waste to just throw them away. I'm not sure if that's unhygienic, but like, I'm on a budget, so just trying to save money. So I cut off that little sliver, so I kind of use them as a half lash. And I really like these lashes because in some pictures that I've taken, they look like they're like lash extensions. And I feel like that's cute. I will just take the lash. I'll pinch it right here, kind of like in the middle. And I take my lash glue. And I will just paint it along here just so the whole strip is coated. So I'm just gonna pinch it in the middle. Apply it like that and then I'll pinch the end, push it on like so. And then I'll just kind of pinch it, make sure that it is nice and good in place so here is this lash so now i will do the same thing with the other one
There are both of them on. So... Here they are. On the last steps, I'm going to use this lip liner. It's the NYX in Whipped Caviar. And I'll just put it at my natural lip line. And that is all that I will do for my makeup. I will show you guys my final outfit and hair and that'll be it. Here is my finished outfit. Here's the little swoopies that the rollers helped. And then the shirt, I got it off Poshmark. My necklaces, this one is from Amazon. This one, I don't know where it's from. These jeans, I got thrifted. My Nike Dunks. Then I got this ring, this ring, and this one and my cute little Pikachu right there. That is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. See you in the next one.